Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. This is card of the day. I've got my phrase deck here, which I have cleared and shuffled already, but I'm going to get it a little bit more in my hand through the tripod and try not to knock it over. I missed. It wasn't exactly half the deck there. Not that these are really like in any order anyway. camera. So I right away I see number 432 which is that glorious resonance pattern that is no longer in our music. So we have obsessed with your stories which could be like social media or with what someone's putting out like they're intentionally manipulating and you become obsessed with the narrative that they're trying to feed you. Um, and that could be I mean that could also be on social media but it could be just like in real life you know, like gaslighting and um, just your outlook in general, you know, like societal programming. So this is an obsession. We've got 432, 432 hertz, which you would think would be full high energy and resonant. We've also got green here, so we've got heart chakra energy. But I'm also hearing like green with envy, and it's also making me think of earth energy in general. Like I, I'm I'm showing off my materialism. I'm a ma material girl. Like Madonna. So uh, if I look at the numbers individually, I have the emperor, I have the empress, and I have the high priestess. Well that seems high vibe too, but why is it coming in with this envious energy. It's like everyone else looks like they have their shit together. There must be something wrong with me. Um, I've also got potentially five, which would be the Hierophant, potentially seven, the Chariot, potentially six, the Lovers, which would be healing or a choice as well. And then combined I have nine, which is the Hermit which is probably where we need to be. It's like I'm deep within myself. I've sucked into myself. There's something that's been programmed into my inner child and I'm being drawn in to look at it. Like, like what about me in my inner child with this shadow element that constantly feels like I have to keep up with everyone else. I'm not good enough because I don't have this or I don't have that. Right, because if a child is exposed to toys or riches or something, it's like, well, everyone's supposed to have that. There must be something wrong with me. I don't have that. But when you're grown, you're like, oh, I don't need that shit anyway, whatever. But if you have, if your inner child, your inner children, because there's masculine and feminine, if they don't have the He-Man toy or the Hot Wheels or the feminine one doesn't have, you know, the whatever children's fancy brands are, I don't know, whatever. Um, you know, you don't have the Nikes or the Jordash or whatever the fuck kids are wearing. You don't have, you know, you don't look right, you don't sound right, you don't dress right, you don't do this, you don't do that. You're, somehow you, you, you're crap and you have to, like, maintain this sort of uh, feeding capitalistic uh, bigger, better, stronger energy, whether you're looking at social media or whether it's uh, TV media, print media, um, the way that adults around you behave, your friends behave and all that. And it's, it's sort of all of this happening at the same time as this, oh, we're, we're enlightened, we're woke. 
but then being woke becomes a challenge. It's like, I'm not enlightened fast enough. What's wrong with me? You know, like, I thought I was done with this shadow work and it's not done. So it's like... I almost want to say it's like showing up as a two-way mirror, but it's like you're looking in the mirror, but it's the evil stepmother queen's magic mirror that's talking shit about everybody behind their back. You know, it's like your ego feeding you um, information about what you're not and calling it enlightenment well we don't need this you don't need to like we don't need to do that we're better than that and then your inner child is like but i still don't feel good because i don't have that it's um like a chewing your own tail kind of energy that's masquerading as oh no we don't need that because we're woke now like i'm a spiritual being i don't need material things it's um it's kind of like a warning so this is going to get kind of long, but I do want to look at the bottom of the deck, too. Having it easy is not a blessing. Lack of opportunity for maturity. Um, 84, breaking down to 12, which is a hanged man. So it's just reiterating what I said here, just to confirm. It's this, um, you know, if, if I have everything that I want, then there's nothing I'm striving for but it's also this idea of like wanting everything while saying you don't want it is there's a rift between the inner child that needs uh attention that wants to feel to feel like they belong and the ego of saying like oh no we don't need that so that's what's going on there um if you want to get a personal reading Uh, the list of readings that I have is going to be down below. Um, you can email me for that. Uh, I've got stuff for sale, merch prints, and so on. There's a coupon code there for Etsy. Uh, if you go through the link tree, it should come in at the top. If you want to donate, energy exchange, hit that tip jar. If you're getting a reading, it's PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. Everything here is through the link tree, linktr.ee slash catthaminion. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Check out my playlist tab and stay groovy, and we'll see you later. Bye.